Uh, now, Arsenal might get a taste of just how angry their fans are today about their involvement in the project. There are protests potentially taking place ahead of their game against Everton at the Emirates. Uh, Josh Cronkey, who's the son of the majority shareholder, Stan, uh, and a director on the Arsenal board, joins a fans forum yesterday alongside the club's chief executive, Vinay Venkatesham. Uh, Cronkey said they had no intention of selling the club. Here's what else we learned from that forum. Arsenal have assured fans they will consult them first if they consider joining another European Super League. Uh, Josh Cronkey says his father's company, that's Cronkey Sports and Entertainment, KSE, will cover the costs related to leaving the project. And Venkatesham confirmed he had phoned the other 14 Premier League clubs to apologise. They had asked themselves two questions. What was worse, a Super League or a Super League without Arsenal? The second question was, what do fans want? My immediate reaction was, you don't know that. They've never talked with fans. Crunky, the KSE, they've owned Arsenal for more than 10 years. And they, they never bothered to ask. Let's be clear. Arsenal fronted up last night. Their director, son of the owner, Josh Kroenke, and their chief executive, Vinay Venkatesham. I haven't seen any other clubs front up yet. And so they should be applauded for uh, their accountability on that front. What they said, well, they apologise, like some of the other clubs involved have, unreservedly. But they're apologising for the hurt that's been caused, not because they didn't think this was a good idea. Let's get that clear. They all think that this was a good idea. They're not stupid people. They went into this with their eyes open and they thought they knew better than the fans. Uh, well, we mentioned Venkatesham had phoned the 14 Premier League clubs not involved, but it sounds like his attempts to build bridges didn't go down too well. Uh, one chief executive says Venkatesham made a bad situation worse by apologising. Uh, another was so angry, he told Venkatesham that Arsenal's behaviour had been absolutely disgraceful. So uh, one wonders what Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta made of it all. Well, uh, would he have resigned if the plans had gone ahead? I don't know. I don't know the... The rules of the competition, I don't know the details, so it's a really difficult uh, question to answer. Um, what I know is that it's not going to be played. I think football world has gone completely against it. Uh, it has to be competition. Winning or losing matters. You can dream, you can fail, you can go into a more difficult position, but it has to be an element of that. And that intrigue, that uncertainty is what it keeps uh, football alive because um, then anything is possible, and that's all about sports.